Well, how you do, Beckaroos? And how the heck are you? I am Town to be a Whisperer. So I've got one here, uh, Michelob Ultra, 4.2%. Uh, oh, yeah, I forgot to... <laughs> anyway. 4.2%. Uh, they don't list all the ingredients. They say ingredient highlights, Pilsner malt, and rye. So it does use rye, which I'm not surprised to make it a very light-bodied beer. They describe the color, though, as a bright golden color. Um, I mean, I don't know what the hell they're looking at, but I would never call this bright golden. It's more like a very pale straw, but it sure as hell ain't bright golden. So here's the deal. I've had this, I've had this Michelob... Uh, goblet for a long time, but it had been packed away, and I just got it out, and I wanted to use it, uh, well, for a Michelob product, but I couldn't find actual Michelob. I uh, looked at all the stores around here, and I couldn't find it. I just had the Ultra. Uh, out of town, I did find some Michelob Ultra. Uh, not Michelob. Uh, no, I guess yesterday uh, afternoon, I did see it at a store here in Springfield, uh, but it was uh, 864, I believe, a six-pack. The same store had Piney River uh, river access logger for seven ninety seven. There is no way in hell I'm paying you know almost nine bucks for Michelob when I can get an actual craft logger for less money. That makes absolutely no sense. But so I, anyways, today I broke down and I bought just this twenty five ounce can just so I could put an actual Michelob product in this goblet. So before this warms up anymore, I did have this very ice cold. I'm gonna take a drink. Well, there you go. Uh, and there it is. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, I don't know. It's not the worst thing I've ever had my lips around. Um, I guess for what it is, a macro light beer is it, certainly a better quality than most. Uh, there are uh, craft beers out there um, with similar numbers. I know of at least one, but... Uh, I'm not going to mention the name because I work for the company, <laughs> so that might seem self-serving, but um, but in the markets that it's in, uh, sells for less money than the Mick Ultra does, so. And it is an all-malt beer, but again, for a lot of people like this beer because it is low in calorie, it is somewhat crisp, and it is, I mean, it is kind of hot, steamy out there today, so for the weather, it is refreshing, although I really hate feeding the beast. But I did want to, you know, put a Michelob product in my Michelob glass. I just wish I could have purchased regular Michelob. But most store, I don't know if they, they if they're not making it anymore. Her stores just aren't carrying it. I don't know. But you can find this product. You can find Amber Bach. <laughs> you can find those funky flavors of Michelob that they make. Uh, but you can't find regular damn Michelob. The nights used to be made for Michelob, man. <laughs> I digress. So, yeah, I mean, bottom line is um, this is beer for, for you know, macro beer drinkers. This isn't meant to be a craft beer. It doesn't have a lot of flavor. Um, but this is for, for folks that are used to drinking a certain type of beer. This is a very light version of. It doesn't have much flavor. Uh, but the other side of that is is that it is somewhat crisp. And there's nothing off-putting about it. Even though the flavors are light, the aromas are damn near non-existent, I don't find it off-putting. So there you go. I am Tyler kind of Beer Whisper, uh, Beer Evangelist, uh, Prolific Beer Drinker, Purveyor of Wisdom, and... Uh, biscuits. All around good guy.